Welcome to Tattoo Tables On. My name is James, and today we are going to discuss a different topic. So, this video is in reaction to a video recently posted by the YouTuber Arbiter Ian. Arbiter Ian is a YouTuber that I found a little while ago, uh, primarily when I was looking at the lore of the Horus Heresy. At the time, they were winding up the uh, the build-up to Her Horus Heresy 2.0, the game system, they were promoting the Age of Darkness box, and Arbiter Ian broke down, well, had multiple videos breaking down the individual chapters, breaking down the individual legions, things of that nature. Well, legions, definitely not chapters, they weren't chapters. I'm messing it up. Anyway, I found him through that, and I found that as a lore channel, he was a great lore channel. He was very detail-oriented. He had pulled excerpts from the books. He had pulled a lot of pictures and used a lot of graphics that really kind of helped pull me in, and it's something that I personally was drawn to. Now, the video that Arbiter Ian was discussing is he was kind of expounding on the idea of why do people hate Primaris Marines, but there was a subsection, there was a sub message to this video specifically, and it was talking about the negativity of YouTubers and their coverage of multiple things. Now, it's not just specific things necessarily completely in the hobby, but he talked about the negativity and he talks about the identity of those people who take on these products like myself. You know, I have Warhammer stacked up back here. A lot of people know me as a large Warhammer fan. They know it's a large component of my life, but it's people who take that, make that their entire identity, and then use that as a means of expressing rage or even just expressing some sort of ownership over the thing, over the fictional idea. And obviously this doesn't just apply to Warhammer, this applies to many things, fans and other critics expounding their criticism of certain things and certain changes that they don't like, i.e. Star Wars or otherwise. Now, why do I want to talk about this? Because number one, first point, I think Arbiter Ian is right. Point of fact, um, coming from even just, you know, having been on the receiving end of last week's update, I think it was last week's update, where my Beast of Eight Chaos Army is no longer going to be usable in Age of Sigmar come summer of 2025. That does hurt because I really love the Beast of Chaos. I think they have some of my favorite lore. They have some of my favorite models. I really enjoy them. They're the range. Some of the models are obviously much older than others, and some are a little bit newer, or at least look decent enough and passable. We got a new Beast Lord on the last uh, the last go around, which was nice. Um, but they expressed that they are going to go to the old world and no longer participate in the Age of Sigmar. They're going to get an update, which I do appreciate. That is going to last for the first year of the fourth edition of Age of Sigmar. This is something I appreciate. Um, so I am someone who understands being upset, I, and Arbiter Ian and myself in particular aren't saying that you're not allowed to be upset. You are allowed to be upset. Obviously you've put a lot of time, blood, sweat, tears, the whole nine yards into your models. However, this brings me to point number two. One of the things that he specifically addressed is YouTubers using these identities and using negativity specifically to fuel their channels. Obviously they post clickbaity things like worst thing ever, GW does it again, they ruined everything. And there are certain YouTubers that I personally avoid because of their negativity stance towards a lot of different things. And I personally will not say any of those YouTube channels. <coughs> Discourse miniatures. Sorry, I am going to say that one because I think that that person, I think that the channel is incredibly toxic to the hobby and just needs to get out of here. Sorry, it's it all, all it is is clickbait negativity and crap and I think that they just need to, they just need to disappear. I digress. Now, why is this important to me? Because number one, I found this channel on the idea of being a positive channel. I like to promote some sort of positivity. I think there's enough negativity in the world 
I think the one thing that we can do is try and be as positive as possible about the thing that we enjoy, the thing that does bring us a lot of joy, our models, our stories, our books. Again, understanding why some people are upset, but there's also some things that they shouldn't need to be upset about. Arbiter Ian kind of covers some of that regarding the Primaris fiasco. But inevitably, I think this is more or less a call to action. I think that this should be responded in kind with not fueling these negative channels any longer. I think it's part of the problem is it feeds into this algorithm. And the biggest problem that I have with it is when we feed into this, when people get into the hobby for the first time and meet, and this isn't even just YouTube, this is people in their community, this is people at their friendly local game stores. When they get into this community and they're really excited and they're really ready to like play and interact and do these things with the community, if they meet this giant barrier of negativity or they think that this is what Warhammer is, is people railing against new codexes, railing against new rules, railing against the models, this looks dumb. It sets a bad precedent and I think it just discourages people from joining, which is terrible, honestly. I, it, if that's the case, then I probably wouldn't have joined. I joined when I was 25 years old. I had been a giant nerd from before. There's earlier it was like some of my very first videos explaining my background on how I got into it but it's just terrible honestly I, and it's exhausting let's you know what point number four it is exhausting to deal with on a regular basis to deal with that negativity to deal with people just whining it's complaint like complaining for no real reason other than to complain my favorite bit that I've seen in the communities and on online, of course, is people are always like, GW's the worst, they did this, they did this, blah, blah, blah. like they hate all this. And then it's like, okay, so you're not going to support them anymore, right? And it's like that, it's like that Padme meme with Anakin, just like, so you're not going to support them, right? And then they go and they buy more models. P pick a lane, I guess? I don't know. I just wanted to make this video in, I, don't, I sincerely doubt Arbiter Ian will ever see it, but the point of the fact is I support him in his message. I think he does hit the nail right on the head is as a whole, as a community, we need to be better about, you know, who we do give our time, our views and subscriptions and to on Facebook, on like it, on YouTube, on Facebook, on any of these communities, like these are things that are going to negatively impact our hobby, negatively impact our game and our fun. And at some point we do have to do something about it, right? Like we need to set a barrier, we need to set a precedent somewhere because it is just gonna continue to get worse if that's what we're feeding. We are feeding that negativity. Now, granted, there's a trick here. Because there are YouTubers that use negativity, clickbaity titles, and the title that I assign for this, whatever it may be, may in fact be clickbaity. But the message within those videos isn't always negative, and that's something I do appreciate. I think there have been times where Major Kill has put a negative clickbaity title into his videos, but the video itself is, as a whole, all in large, like a not negative view. Right? Like he's, he says, you know, like, well, this is how it is and blah, blah, blah. Like, but you know, it's okay. There's going to be more stories. Are gonna be, so there's a, there's a bit of a lift there, but there are some YouTubers that just weigh in on the negative and that's all they spend their time doing. I, that's all I'm saying. I mean, this video is, you know, eight minutes long, nine minutes long. And, but all I really wanted to say is that I support Arbiter Ian for those reasons. And honestly, I'm going to link the video down in the description. Please go check that out. I would highly recommend it. And of course, if you think as I do, if you feel as I feel, where you want to be drawn in towards positive hobby experiences, positive hobby content, then please like, share, subscribe to this channel. I promise that to the best of my ability, I'm going to keep it as positive as humanly possible. I think that this is very important for the community. There are things like where I put in, why do painters hate slap chop? I had a comment, I had a connotation around that, but realistically, if you dive into it further, it's not a criticism of the slap chop and it's not saying that all painters hate slap chop. I just wanted to start a discussion around it. So again, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And of course, I've been Tattoo Tabletop. Now the most important thing that you can do today, go paint something.